The liver is the largest internal organ in the body, weighs about 3.3 pounds, and then performs over 500 different functions in the body. The liver has the ability to detoxify thousands of chemicals from the blood. The liver produces bile, which is a natural detergent that helps your body to digest and absorb fat. Bile also helps to excrete thousands of chemicals from the blood. And then the liver is also a key producer of hormones like insulin like growth factor 1, epsidin, cortisol, vitamin D, and then other steroid hormones that carry out essential functions in the body. And then aside from all this, the liver is also a storage organ for glucose. When you consume food that are rich in carbohydrates like bread, rice, pasta, and potatoes, your body breathes those carbohydrates and into glucose, and excess blood sugar, excess blood glucose are transported to the liver to be stored as glycogen. Okay, so the liver plays an important role in the metabolism of glucose. And then when your liver becomes damaged, your liver cannot carry out all of these functions effectively. So in this video, we are going to discuss the five foods that can potentially cause damage to your liver. Okay, all right, the first one is high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup is an artificial sweetener or sugar that are made from cornstarch. You can find them in barbecue sauce, fast food, fruit jam, sodas, and then fruit juice. And then over the years, the consumption of fructose has then significantly increased about 100 foods, despite being linked to many serious health issues like obesity and then diabetes, okay? Excessive consumption of fructose is highly toxic to the liver, and then the metabolic pathway for fructose is somehow different from that of glucose. And then unlike glucose, fructose is not easily stored as glycogen in the liver, okay? So when you consume high fructose diet, those fructose gets converted into fat rather than glycogen, and then this can lead to the development of fatty liver, particularly the non-alcoholic fatty liver. And when you have an alcoholic fatty liver, your liver will not be able to carry out its full functions effectively. And then in fact, your liver becomes a storage or a reservoir for toxins. This is because those, those fats have the ability to attract toxins and chemicals to your liver. And then over time, this can result in liver damage. So high fructose corn syrup has the ability to actually cause damage to your liver. All right, number two, vegetable oils. Vegetable oils contain some harmful chemicals and then they are highly processed. So you just have to make sure that the vegetable oil you are using are organic and then the cold press. Do not take the inorganic one because most of them are genetically modified and then they contain some harmful pesticides. Vegetable oils like soybeans oil, safflower oil, palm oil, and then corn oil have high concentration of omega-6 fat, which is an inflammatory fat. And then they are low in omega-3 fatty acid or omega-3 fats. And in fact, Americans are eating so many vegetable oils landy products that an average person has an omega-6 to 3 ratio of around 20 ratio 1, when it should be 1 ratio 1. So when you consume these vegetable oils that have high concentration of omega-6, they are going to expose your liver to inflammation, and then this can lead to the development of cirrhosis over time. And when you have cirrhosis, your liver will not be able to carry out some vital functions, okay? And in addition to the high concentration of omega-6 fat, vegetable oils also contain trans fat. And the trans fat are very toxic to the liver. They have the ability to promote liver cancer, okay? All right, number three, the processed meat. When meat is cooked at high temperature, like during frying or grilling, they can form a very unhealthy compound called advanced glycation end products. An advanced glycation end product in meat are formed due to a reaction between sugars and proteins or fat. The sugar may come from the marinade or the sauce you use to flavor the meat, and then when this reacts to the protein from the meat, they form the advanced glycation end product. The more you heat them, the more the advanced glycation end product that will be formed. High levels of advanced glycation end product can result in inflammation and oxidative stress in the liver, and that this can result in cirrhosis and the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. All right, number four, high sodium or salt. Excessive intake of added salt can result in high blood pressure and then fibrosis. And then fibrosis, if left untreated, can result in cirrhosis, liver failure, and then liver cancer, okay? And then if you have cirrhosis, you could also limit your salt intake because this can worsen the situation. And then you could develop something like acid and then Edema. Right, number five is alcohol. 
Alcohol is one of the major causes of liver diseases, and then the liver is the site for alcohol breakdown. Okay, so excessive intake of alcohol is going to impair your liver ability to carry out this function, and then this could lead to the buildup of alcohol in the liver. Then you could start to develop something like alcoholic fatty liver disease, and then liver cancer. Alcoholic fatty liver disease does not really come with any symptoms, but some people may experience symptoms like jaundice, tiredness, and weakness nausea and vomiting and pain in their right upper abdomen okay so i hope this video was helpful and if it does please like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching